morning so i'm in my shop and i'm fixing to start on this um tapestry rug and make it a wall hanging for the bathroom so i've got it laying here you can't see it right now because my camera's actually sitting at the stand sitting standing on it i've got um i went to this shop over here behind me the the storage shop where all the wood and i have these scrap pieces of cedar um, they've been used. Um, I don't usually buy cedar, especially not real one by four cedar. If I buy cedar, I buy pickets. And then I cut the picket, the dog ear off the picket. That's the cheapest way and they're not quite as thick. This is real cedar one by fours. And I'm positive this came from Daniel's house before the flood. All of his house was trimmed around the top and the floor trim, the, the trim at the bottom of the floors, the baseboards, and around the top, your um, crown molding, you would say, it wasn't really molding, but your crown was this cedar. All the door frames, everything was trimmed in this cedar, rough sawn cedar. And after Harvey, when they knew they were just gonna have to tear their house down, it was, lopsided and all this kind of stuff after the water washed all the washed it off of its uh its footings anyway i went in and took all the cedar out of his house so it's been stored in my barn it's dried out you know harvey was in 2017 it's dried out you can see paint you can see what was stuck to the paint you know when it was put up on the wall screwed in probably some of the paint was still a little wet when we were painting his house me and lou did most of all the painting and stuff like that of all the rooms back then um and we put floors down in her house one day when daniel was at work we did all kinds of stuff anyway um there's not very many pieces of, the, of this left because dad has some rooms that he's uh trimmed in cedar so when after um when we started, when we got them back in their house after Harvey, we didn't worry about trim. We just got the house cleaned out. We got it aired out. We got it sprayed for mildew, all that stuff, and then moved new stuff in. You know, new walls, the, not the log walls, but the interior walls of those bedrooms and the bathroom and all that stuff. We just redid all that, but we didn't really put trim and stuff in because we just needed to get mom and dad back in their house. They were both just lost and we needed them back to normal. And um, I don't remember, within the, a few weeks after that, I started slowly helping uh, put their trim back in. And dad still was, you know, I'm not gonna say he had lost his mind, but he just still wasn't doing all that he'd always done. He was just like, he was always out of his barn messing with stuff. and. There was stuff that still needed to be done in the house, but he couldn't focus on that. So I just went and started pulling all the cedar that I had taken out of Daniel's house. I didn't really know what I was gonna ever use it for, just knew that it was too expensive to throw away and cedar dries out. I mean, that's one, one good thing about cedar. It can get wet and wet and wet and wet and wet over and over and over, and it still is, it's still a good piece of wood. Anyway, this is all I have left from there's just a couple more pieces in there, but I'm gonna use it to trim out this tapestry. So um, I'll turn the camera and let y'all see what I'm, sort of what I'm doing. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so it is not, this tapestry is not square. If um, y'all can see that, it's probably hard to see from here. It's gonna be too hard for y'all to see that. This tapestry runs up slowly up at that corner for some reason. It And when I measured from here to here and from here to here, it's a quarter inch off. So this side over here is a quarter inch longer than this side over here. So that's probably why they were at Ollie's or Ollie's, whatever you call it. And, you know, what did I say? I paid $4.99, $5.99, whatever I paid for it. It wasn't very expensive. 
So I am going, because I think that was one, because they're not, none of them are square. But it doesn't matter because this is three and a half inches. I can hide that unsquaredness behind the trim. You'll never know it wasn't square. So I'm going to get started on that now. I'm going to lay these out where I think it looks good and take a measurement. These are the brackets I'll be using to keep it all together. And I'll lay these out like this, these top and bottom, and I'll get a measurement from this board to this board. And then I'll make sure that same number is down here. And then I'll cut these two ends and then I'll cut these here to the right length because right now they're jutting out on both sides and I'll cut them to the, to the right, correct length. But when I do cut them, I want to make sure that my top and bottom overhang like that. You always, I do, you want your top and bottom of anything, window trim anything, like this. This is old. Here's some, I think this is, no, that's not cedar. I started to say I use some of that cedar here. This is just one by four. See the, see the top and the bottom are the long pieces and your inside up and downs, your verticals are your short sides. So I wanna make sure that when I cut these, I'm cutting it so these fit on the inside. And same thing down here, these will fit on the inside. So this one I will not be using because if you can see, I must have planned on cutting this down to three inches because I have a mark down it where I was taking an inch off, probably for my front porch trim, uh, the trim between the wall, the exterior wall and the porch, because I had some little one by three pieces of trim. I don't know where it came from, but I had a whole bunch of it. Must have, I, all I can assume is it came from Daniel's too, but I don't know what room he'd done. He had one by threes in. Uh, I had one little section on the porch that needed to, uh, when I took that closet off the front porch the other day, there was a section back there that didn't get trimmed. But I think I marked that out so I could make it the right to make, to, uh, match what's already there. And then I found a piece down here in the box that was almost the perfect length. So I just had to cut a little bit of it off. So anyway, back to this, I'm going to get started on this and, uh, I'll show y'all as I'm going how, how it's, I can't just leave my camera on for 30 minutes while I'm out here working on it. I, I can't do it. So I'll just have to show you in pieces, but right now I'm getting it all ready and I will make my measurements and I'll cut and I will show y'all what the frame will look like once it's all uh, on here. Give me a second. Okay. So I've got one of my sides cut at 14 and a half. I'm going to uh, sand it a little bit in a few minutes, but I'm not going to use the sander. Um, I got my sander out, but I don't see my bag. Well, I've got this. This is a sanding block right here, but it's worn out. I just wrap the sandpaper around it like this. So I can use my cedar is a soft wood. Doesn't take much. to sand these edges. I just want the edges that the saw is hit to get all the little pieces off. See, there. You can run it down just to get any flaky stuff off if you want. All right, so this is one of my 14 and a half inch sides. After all that sanding, let me make sure. Yep, exactly. I don't know if y'all can see that. 14 and a half. All right. Let me get one more cut. Let me move this so oh, it's in my way. It was in my way a second ago and I didn't move it. I'm going to measure out 14 and a half. Make a mark, a square, make a line, 
pencil in my head. It's easier when your pencil doesn't have a got a hang it's hanging up in my hair because it's got a all right this is my scrap side over here this is the side i want i'm gonna line my blade up i'm gonna get this over here where y'all can see i'm gonna get it sitting here because that's where i want it all right let me show y'all i won't cut holding this right now there is my line when you pull the blade down, see how it's on that side of the line? That's because if I cut the line, I would be cutting some of the 14 and a half that I need. You have to give for the width of the blade. It's just a little bit, but a lot gets cut out of there when you make a cut. So I cut on the outside of the line. That means I will get an exact 14 and a half inch board. So let me set y'all back over here. I'm only doing this because somebody said the other day they really want to see me using the power tools. I don't know. Maybe y'all think I've got some secret person down here doing all my cutting for me. I don't. There it is. And just to show you when you cut on the outside of the line, you get a 14 and a half inch board. All right, now I'm on saying this one. I've got to get started on Mom's fireplace and Daniel's cabinet. I haven't even got started on them yet. I've been doing, I don't know what I've been doing, but not that. All right, there's my two 14 and a half inch boards. Those are my two sides. So I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of a peek at what we've got going on here. Now remember, I've still gotta cut these other two boards to the right length. But there are the 14, these are the inside boards and they are where they've gotta be. So I'm gonna measure now, I really like this dark in this one. So this end, it starts going, see how it starts playing out? Let me set these over here. So I'm gonna actually bring this this way. Line it up right there. And now I know that I can make the cut. I can make a mark right here. And that's where I'm gonna cut this. And I'm, this board's gonna have a lot of this dark in it. And then I'll do the same thing over here I'll line this one up down here, just like that. And then I will cut here. And what I'll do is to make sure that I'm square, I will measure, even though I'm gonna make a mark there, I'm gonna measure that and make sure it turns out to be the same length over here. Cause I want this frame to be square because when I flip it over, I can, put this inside it any way I want. I can adjust it to make it look good and then I'll staple it in. Um, if y'all understand what I'm, but y'all will see what I'm doing. So I just wanna make sure that my, my frame is square and then I can adjust the inside picture any way I want it to be. All right, give me a second. All right, can you see what I've done here? This is not a permanent thing. I mean, it, I'll keep them on there, but this right now, is allowing me to get the tapestry put on why these dry because i didn't want them silver and i didn't want to go to mccoy's or home depot that day i was in cleveland and the only hardware stores in cleveland are mccoy's or potez and i was at walmart and i was like it was rainy and i'm thinking i'm not gonna go in and out to all these different places at mccoy's or potez i put i could have gotten some little brackets already black. All right, I'm getting it stapled down. 
working my way around. Started at this corner here and went around. I'm pulling tight as I go. We want it really taut. All right. I'll get the brackets on it as soon as it dries and get it up on the wall in the bathroom. All right. See you in a minute. All right, I got a bracket, the bottom here, and one there. I do them at an angle. I think it looks cool instead of just going up and down. And um, here's the other two. I'll be putting them up there. I'll let this uh, record me getting that one in. And then I'll kill it, and uh, the next time y'all see it, it'll be up on the wall. There it is. Isn't it adorable? I love it. And it's so country. I just love it. It's adorable. All right, my whole bathroom looks like, I'll back up now you see the whole bathroom. I just needed something for that wall that would uh, take up the space, but I didn't want to make more holes in the white wall. So I actually put the string really long and did a cup hook up there in the trim so it worked out better. Anyway, the rest of the room looks like this. There's the, the little shelf. And I have a little standing snowman over there. And um, these go around and around. There is music, but I don't want the music interfering with the music on the radio because I just like my KSBJ or Air One to be playing all the time. Anyway, that's my shower curtain, the little country snowman. And then there's uh, over the toilet, just uh, these were uh, pee pads. And I took that from her house after she passed away. And then this I got at Hobby Lobby about four or five years ago, but I think they still make them. I've seen them before. And then it's just like a, that's just like a window frame. It says believe with a reef and a wreath in the middle and then I have some uh, both these big snowmen with the lights inside them are actually made for candles to go in them but I use a, the string of house lights for those little houses a little village and I just unscrew a little bit or I put burnt ones that are burnt out because it's a five light strand but I needed the first light and I needed the fourth light. So there's two there that are burnt out. One behind the, the Germax and one behind the faucet. And then there's one down there hanging by the... Oh, I use a old tin for um, the trash can. An old uh, popcorn tin. And then I've got this little set that match. This is a whole set that actually goes together. A little toilet cover, um, the contour rug, and then this. And the rug that I, we stand on when we get out of the bathtub, it's thrown over the side of the tub. Um, it's just the yellow that matches the room when it's back to the sunflower room. Anyway, um, that's, that's it. I have a wreath up here with some garland, and then garland and a little snowflake i think i got that at family dollar or something a couple years ago anyway that's that's really it in here 
but it, it's very festive. It looks really pretty and it looks very Christmassy. So I'm happy. I just didn't have, after I put everything up, I didn't have anything to go here. And when I went to Ollie's, I was thinking, what can I, I don't want to put another wreath. I have a wreath right here. I didn't want to put another wreath. I didn't know what I could put there. Whatever it needed to be, I felt like it needed to be one thing, right? When my other stuff is up, the fall, the, the fall, the sunflower stuff is up. It's two things, a picture hanging here and then that thing that has three boards that says sweet cheeks or something like that on it, hanging straight down. But I didn't want two things here. I really just wanted one big thing and that absolutely is adorable and I love it. And I think everybody is gonna say something about it when they come to the house. If they have to use the bathroom, they're gonna come in here and say something about that little thing. Anyway, it's adorable. So I'm really happy with my bathroom. All right, I'll see you guys later. God bless y'all.